Paul paid a really high price for his gospel. The people he's writing to now, the Galatians, he was killed, or at least almost killed, while proclaiming to them. He was left for dead, dragged outside of the city and left there. It just says that some believers gathered around him and prayed. Next thing you know, Paul's up again and they're on to the next city. Why such a high price to pay? Paul had found something out. Following Abraham means becoming a child of God, and that's really the key. The focus is not on our right behavior, although our right behavior is the barometer to how we're doing. It's important, and we'll see this in a couple chapters where Paul lays out, here's what you should be looking like. Here's what you should not be looking like. Here's what you put on. Here's what you take off. If your focus is your system, whether we're talking about diet, whether we're talking about your career, whether we're talking about your Christianity, if it devolves into attendance of church, to tithing, to being a good person, then soon you're looking inward and you're spiraling inward. The problem with relying on systems is we never work them perfectly. We never get them quite right. No, we focus on the life itself. Paul reiterates what Jesus himself said. It's not the righteousness of the scribes and Pharisees. It's not acting perfect. Rather, the only way we can do this is through the crucified Christ. And what that means is we enter his death and we engage in his new life. Or the way Paul puts it is we clothe ourselves in this new life. We clothe ourselves in Christ. Paul says all those divisions are gone. They're gone. Instead, it's being clothed in the new life. When my dad passed away a couple of weeks ago, soon after he was gone, my sister, who was sleeping and didn't yet know that my dad had passed, had a dream. And in the dream, she had an angel showing her the new garment that my dad had. Shining, shimmering, powerful, beautiful. He let her wear it for a moment, and then he went off. We've been given a new garment. It's this new life we have. And it's based on the return of the prodigals. It's based on a return to our Abba Father, it's based on having a dad and focusing on this new life that he's giving us. Everything that's born eventually grows into a new life. Tomorrow we talk about what that new life looks like.